Will you, I pray, demand that demi-devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body? To which Iago responds, demand me nothing. What you know, you know. From this time forth, I will never speak a word. Now, Iago may be keeping his trap shut at the end of the uh, play, but do we, as the audience, know what his motive is? Why did Iago ruin Othello? Anyone? Think back to the beginning of the play. A certain character named Cassio, a certain position. Remember? Mr. Butler? Yes, Becca. Does Othello really think Iago is the devil? Well, that's a good question. Can anyone from Mr. Coleman's Latin class tell us what demi means? Demi? Anyone? You have that time, you're gonna expose your queen, Andrew's rook. Good time. But uh, start developing those pieces in the back, okay? And something strikes me about the way it's written. So, what I did was I took a couple of those sentences and I plugged them into Google. She took them from a Wikipedia page on chemical reactions. She plagiarized the whole thing, like, word for word, just copy-paste. I mean, it makes you wonder, like, what's the point? Hey, these kids don't even want teachers when they have Google. Yeah, uh, come on now. I mean, sure, yeah, they can get all the facts from the internet, but Google can't teach a lesson. Not the important ones. Take over. Hi. Hi, buddy. It's okay. Oh my god. He's he's bigger. I swear, <laughs> since this morning. He's grown an inch. He's gonna be in your class soon. Here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I started without you. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, buddy. Hi. I'm gonna eat dinner. So we got the bill today for the hospital. Oh, for his bronchitis? Yeah. How much? Too much. Um, Mom said she'd pay for it. Nope, no, we're not taking any more money from your parents. You know, I was thinking maybe this would be a good time for me to go back to work. Actually, you don't have to do that because it turns out Jane Fermont knows somebody at Demi U. She's gonna put in a good word for me, so I got a real shot at getting this professorship. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna start working on this application tonight. I'm gonna get this. It's tenure track, right? Daddy's gonna be a professor. Right? That's where the big bucks are. for startling you. My name is Lucas Ward. I'm a new transfer student. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Principal Fermont mentioned something about that. Uh, welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm excited to be here. Quite the uh, early bird, are you, Lucas? Well, only one way to catch the worm, right, sir? <laughs> you can call me uh, Mr. Butler. I'm no drill sergeant. Of course, Mr. Butler. Mr. 
What is this? It's every assignment I've missed so far this semester. Please let me know if anything's missing, but I believe it should all be accounted for. I tracked down a fellow student to get the syllabus. Ooh. This is, uh... <laughs> you really didn't have to do this, though. Oh, I, I don't like to fall behind. Plus, it was my pleasure, really. I found your essay prompts to be utterly stirring. You, you did? Yeah. Like the doubloon in Moby Dick, I never knew that it could have so many meanings until you encouraged me to dig deeper into the subtext. Yeah, well, uh, Melville loved his metaphors. <laughs> Speaking of metaphors... I read that the origin of the apple as a gift for teachers dates back to the agricultural revolution. A fresh apple represents the hope for a fruitful new year. Well, thank you, Lucas. This is really nice. I'm not going to test the freshness of this one, though. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'd like everyone's attention, please. We have a new student joining us. Uh, Lucas, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Mr. Butler. Hi, class. Uh, my name is Lucas Ward, and English happens to be my favorite subject. Um, I look forward to getting to know all of you through some engaging literary discussion. I just recently moved here from San Francisco, and I'm rather <coughs> looking forward to... Hey, Chris. Well, I guess that's my cue. All right, well... Thank you, Lucas. So, Don't worry about Chris. Friday, I'm Becca, by the way. We talked on the phone. That's right. Thank, thank you again for the syllabus. Uh, I know Russian yeah. is a bit of a, sure thing. <laughs> bit of a grind, but uh, let's get into it. What can we tell uh, about Raskolnikov from these first few pages? What do we? What do we? Uh, anybody? Anyone? Yeah, uh, Lucas. Well, in the introduction to the third edition, we learn that Dostoevsky was inspired by the true account of Pierre-Francois Lassenaire, a French poet turned murderer. As such, Raskolnikov, much like Lassenaire, feels himself above his fellow man and above the law in his brilliance, ultimately testing those boundaries through criminal violence. Wow. <laughs> very good, Lucas. Yeah, see? That's ex very good, Lucas. Yes, OK. This is fun, right? All right. Everybody hear that? Hey. He considers himself. You want to have lunch with me? Yeah, I'd like that very much. Are we permitted to be up here? I just can't stand the cafeteria, all the little flicks. Bet you had a lot of friends at your old school, though. I find that my time is better investing in one true friendship than a hundred bap at once. Smart move packing your own. Where'd you find food like that in Morristown? I prepared it myself. Kind of weird, huh? Well, no, I mean that as a compliment. Weird is good. Everyone in this town is so small-minded. It's nice to have someone... Weird. Right. Thank you, Becca. Okay, so we'll start with the pawns. Pawns can only go forward and only one space at a time. Unless they're in this first position, then they can go two. Uh, and then the only other move they can do is if there's a piece here, you can capture and go diagonal, right? Now you get your rooks. Mr. Rooks. Butler. Oh, Lucas. Um, hey, Justin, could you take over? <laughs> I didn't know you ran the chess club. Uh, guilty. Do you play? So tell me a little bit about yourself. Lucas, what do your parents do? My father is a criminal defense attorney and a very diligent worker. We recently moved here for his job opportunity. And my mother, she passed away a long time ago. Oh, geez. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that must have been hard on you and your dad. We managed all right. Oh, that's a good move. So was it your dad who taught you how to play chess then? No. Father doesn't have much time off of work. I taught myself. Well, I hear you're quite the scholar in every subject. Have you got any thoughts of what you want to focus on at college? I know I want to go to Harvard. I figure I can decide what I want to study while I'm there because they have the very best of everything. And there's no use in doing anything unless you can be the very best at it. Checkmate. How did... 
Welcome to the team, Lucas. <laughs> like, he's this really bright kid, you know? And he, like, says English is his favorite subject. He carries a, a like, a briefcase, like a satchel. Wow. Yeah, I just don't know how much attention he's getting from home, you know? I think, I think he could use a mentor. It's nice to see you so excited about school. Yeah, right? Yeah. I know, it feels great. Yeah. How about you? How was your day? Uh, I microwaved the same cup of coffee three times. Still managed to drink it cold. But I didn't get any poop on me today, so <laughs> I guess it's a win. Yeah, it's a win. That's great. How's, uh, how's your application coming? It's good. Um, yeah. It's a lot to fill out. But uh, I was going to work on it tonight, actually. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. a really good idea. Really? Mm-hmm. Touch base with you. I love you. I love you, too. All right. You turn off the light, babe? Yep. <laughs> Raskolnikov meets in the bar. He's very pitiful. Uh, he's got some. Uh, <clears throat> he's got some family problems. And uh, what happens to Raskolnikov? He goes home after the bar, right? And he gets a letter. That's like the next big thing that happens. <laughs> and that's a big deal back in these days, right? It's before email, right? You have to sit down with pen and paper, okay, and he gets a letter. Words, so Michael Jordan. Jordan. Right? And what are the two things? <laughs> Chris, may I have a word? I just couldn't help but notice that you were speaking a lot during class, and I have to say, it was disrupting the learning environment. Are you telling me to shut up? Oh, I would never use such crude verbiage. But I would ask that you refrain from speaking while class is in session as a common courtesy <laughs> to your lecturer and to your fellow classmates. Look, Lucas, I talk when I want to talk. And if you got a problem with that, then maybe I should... Maybe I should jab my pen through your windpipe and staple your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Hey, is everything okay, fellas? Everything's great, Mr. Butler. Just wishing Chris good luck in the game tonight. Oh, yeah. Hey, good luck, Chris. As we go into the weekend and you start digging through these next couple chapters, I want you to keep in mind what we talked about earlier, right? But then the very next scene, he's like giving his money away. He doesn't even have a living. So, and I want you to, I want you to really appreciate Dostoevsky's structure because there's a symmetry to it. And uh, thanks, that's it for today. But it is Friday. I know you've been, uh, Waiting to handest in thou Othello papers. Thank you. Thanks, Paige. All right. That looks good. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Becca. Oh, very nice. All right. Thanks, Hako. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Chris, good job. Whoa. What? <laughs> this isn't a paper, Lucas. This is a dissertation. Oh, my gosh. I, I can't wait to read it. I... Thank you very much, Mr. Butler. See you in chess club? I'll see you there, buddy.
check. Checkmate. Wow. Heck of a game, guys. That was just exceptional playing all around. You know what? It's getting late. Let's call it a night. Can you guys put away the pieces? Put the tables back where they go. Friday, Glendon High. First seed, Alex. Second seed, Lucas. Third seed, Sammy. Excuse me, Mr. Butler. Did you just say I was second seed? I did, buddy. You're doing great. You came up really fast. I'm, I'm proud seated of you. behind Alex, even though I just defeated him. Uh, Lucas, you're new to the team, okay? Alex has more seniority. And second seed's no joke, especially against Glendon. Right. I won't let you down, Mr. Butler. Okay. Fourth seed, Justin. Fifth seed, Andrew. Today we are gonna look at different alkali metals under the microscope and take notes on the differences in their makeup. Now remember, alkali metals are highly reactive, so proceed with caution. So let's partner up and let's get metal. All right, uh, first up is uh, sodium, which is basically just salt, but I wouldn't recommend you putting this in your cafeteria food because it will not work, trust me. Food is horrible. <clears throat> Next up, lithium. Yes, the stuff Kurt Cobain sang about. Any Nirvana fans out there? No? Okay, well, don't do drugs. That's all I gotta say about that. Moving on to potassium. Now, this stuff will make you bananas, literally. Uh, because bananas are a naturally high source of potassium. That's why I said that. David, I'm glad I found you. Jane, what's going on? Alex Matthews, he's in your chess club, right? Yeah, he's my first seed, what? He's fine, but there's been an accident. He will be out for the rest of the semester. Oh my gosh, what, what happened? I'm still trying to figure that out, but it happened in chemistry. Greg's class? Something with the slides and an explosion. Hey, Lucas, I heard you were with Alex when the accident happened. Oh, it was very unpleasant, Mr. Butler. But I'm sure Alex will bounce back. You know, Beethoven composed some of his best work after he went deaf. Right. How are you doing? You okay? Well, I'll get over it. I'm just hoping that I can lead our team to victory now. God, that poor kid. I'm and, really sorry. And Greg, he's like gone. Jane fired him. Well, I mean, to be fair, he deserves it. I don't know, there's something weird about the whole thing. All right, 
You know the drill? Unclip and pass them back. I am very happy with these results. I think we got improvements from almost everybody. A couple of you still can do a little better, but uh, overall, great work, you guys. Okay, Lucas? B plus? Yeah, it was good work. And yet, don't see any suggestions about how I could have made the essay stronger. Well, it was well written. You sure know your SAT words. But your thesis that Iago was a heroic character, it's just a little off I feel that I adequately supported my argument with textual evidence. Okay, here, let me show you. Please, enlighten me. All right. Okay, like this quote from the end of the first act. Helen Knight must bring this monstrous birth to the world's light. Now you say this is about Iago exposing Othello as a monster. That's right. No, it's not right. The monstrous birth he's talking about is his own evil plan. See, he knows he's doing bad, he just doesn't care. Othello was a charlatan. Iago is the only honest character throughout the entirety of the play. Actually, honest Iago is used as dramatic irony because we know that he lies. Not to himself, never to himself. He, he knows who he is. It's everyone around him who doubts and questions themselves. They're weak. Iago is the only strong character who is true to himself. What is more heroic than that? I... Look, Lucas. I appreciate your passion about this. I just- Mr. Miller, where did you get your degree? I'm sorry? Your degree, your degree. Where did you go to college? I went to Iowa State. <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with- Yeah, perhaps my interpretation of the text befits an Ivy League mindset. And that's why we're having this pesky medication. Uh-huh. Perhaps a B plus is the highest grade I can give you. And it's very close to an A. 3.3. A B plus is a 3.3, and A is a 4.0. So no, Mr. Butler, they're not very close at all. But if you think that 0.7 is not that big of a difference, then just give me the A. I'm sorry, Lucas, all grades are final, but I'm sure you'll do better on the next one. Bye. Hey, you forgot you. It's a flat tire. What'd you hit? I didn't hit anything. It was fine last night. I don't. 
Uh, it was fine when I got home. Okay, well, I think that there's a thing in the car to... Oh, really? I don't know that that's any safer, babe. Okay. I had to change the tire. I, I didn't know. Okay. Okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm don't sorry. Make fun of me. I love okay, you. I love Have you. a good day at work. Be safe. I'll call AAA. Hey, sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Having a bit of a rough morning. Is everything all right, Mr. Butler? We're starting to worry. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, I was actually up all night finishing an application to be a college professor, sending it off today, so wish me luck. Does that mean you won't be here next year? Anyways, let's not waste any more class time. Let's get back to crime and punishment. All right, y'all should have read chapter seven. So, ooh, sorry about that. I think we got a bad one. Chapter seven, not one, but two, ah. <laughs> so. Okay, really, okay. Well, you know what, let's just, uh, let's have a reading day, all right? Let's take out your books and, uh, and let's, let's all read. <sighs> Everybody see my lunch? Brown bag says Mr. Butler on it. You know, David and I have become pretty close through chess club, and from what he's told me, I gather that things aren't so great at home. Really? You mean like with Mrs. Butler? Yeah. A smart man like him needs a woman who will understand and support him. I can see why you like him so much. Like him? I don't like him. I mean, not like that. Oh, Becca, please. Don't be bashful. I'm your friend. You can tell me things like this. Plus, it's obviously not a one-way street. You think Mr. Butler likes me? Are you kidding? The way he looks at you, talks to you, the tension is palpable. You know, if you really want to get his attention, I could give you some pointers. Okay, uh, uh, thank you, everybody. Mr. Butler? I have some questions about Sonia. Um, sure, shoot. I just think it's so interesting that she's this pure and pious young woman, but also a prostitute. Well, keep in mind, she's a prostitute because she has to make money for her family, so... so yeah. Circumstances of the times. Yeah, but don't you also just think that maybe she wants to... Explore new territory to feel something different. Uh, uh, hmm, it's uh, I, I don't, I don't, uh, uh, you know what? I gotta take this. Uh, sorry, can we talk about this tomorrow in class? Sure thing, Mr. Okay, Butler. Great, thank you. 
Hello? Uh, speaking, who's this? I really appreciate you taking the time to consider my application so fast. Well, Jane gave you a solid recommendation, and the position is ready to be filled. <laughs> That's great. I'm sure we can work something out with her if it's urgent that I need to start right away. That won't be necessary. Your application has been rejected. Uh, uh what? And you may feel that I have wasted your time by calling you down here, but frankly, I feel that you have wasted mine with this personal essay of yours. I am so sorry. I wrote it in a bit of a blur. I hope I didn't... Oh. What makes me a good teacher is my utter superiority to students and colleagues alike. I find that being the absolute best I'm at sorry, what I do... i a joke? <laughs> oh, oh, here's my favorite, if you want to laugh. As an added bonus, hiring a prodigious talent such as myself would bring some much-needed prestige to your second-rate No, no, university. no, no, no. That's not mine. There's been some sort of mistake. I, I don't, uh, this, I didn't write this. Oh, so you did not mail in this application? Doesn't look familiar. Well, I mean, no, yes, I mailed that in, but someone must have done something to. Uh, Who would do something to it? A mailman with a grudge? Lucas, may I have a word? I'm gonna ask you a question. I want you to answer me honestly, okay? Of course. Have you been messing with me? Messing with you? Did you alter my application? I leave my laptop in here during free periods. The door is open. Well, what it sounds like is anyone could have gotten in. You should really be more careful. Yeah, but here's the thing. You want an A. That's what all this is about, a grade. I don't know what all this is that you're referring to, but I assure you, so long as I maintain a perfect academic record on my college transcript, moving forward, I believe everyone will be jubilant. What if I don't give you an A? You know my biggest criticism of crime and punishment? The stakes are too low. Raskolnikov, he's a loner. He's got nothing to lose. But I always find a book that much more compelling when the character stands to lose everything. Dos Vidania.
David. Hey, I just, I wanted to talk to you about Lucas Ward. What about him? Um, well, any other teachers have any issues or complaints? Shooting your pants wild off as a complaint, then yes. What about his previous school? Anything strange on his record? Mm, no, he got nothing but A's from Milton High, president of the chess club, and 10 others. Why? Well, okay, this is gonna sound nuts. I have reason to believe he's not the good kid he pretends to be. Pretends to be? I'm not following you. He's extorting me for a grade. David, I'm sure the kid's more confident than most. And maybe that's a little threatening to a guy like you. Jane, I'm not threatened by him. I, I mean, no, he is. He's threatening me, literally. That's David? the problem. Are you doing all right? You've been kind of off lately. Yeah, I'm fine. I... Maybe I can go speak to his dad. I guess that would be okay. Just be careful. We don't want to go accusing our students of anything we can't prove, or the PTA will have a field day. Understood. Thanks, Jane. Yeah, Mr. Ward, my name's David Butler. I'm Lucas's English teacher. Uh, just sit tight, sit tight. Keep your mouth shut, I'll call you back. Come on. Safe to assume you're not drinking during your free period? Uh, water's fine, thanks. Are you still settling in? Been too busy to unpack. Uh, uh, Lucas mentioned you moved here for a job opportunity, but you work from home? Like I said, I've got a call, so. Is he up for another award or something? Uh, has Lucas ever been in trouble before? <laughs> trouble? Have you met Lucas? Yeah, I have. And uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but. Your son threatened me. What did he say exactly? <clears throat> well, he, uh... okay, well, he was using a book uh, as a metaphor. So you came here to tell me that my son, what, assaulted you with a poem? I actually also suspect that he intentionally injured another student. Do you have any actual proof that my son has done anything wrong? Well, no, but... Because Lucas is a good kid. And I'm not overly fond of loose accusations bordering on slander, so I think it's time for you to go, Mr. Garrett. Uh, Butler. I'm Mr. Butler. You just called me Mr. Garrett. Whatever your name is, get the hell out of my house! High school in San Francisco? Hi, is there a Mr. Garrett there? Hello? Hi, is this Mrs. Butler? Yes. Hi, this is Sam. I'm one of Mr. Butler's students. I just wanted to say that I hope he's feeling better. I'm sorry, he's feeling better? Yeah, he not in school today. They told us he was sick. Oh, uh, right. Well, uh, thanks for calling, Sam. I'll let him know. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.
How was school today? It was good. Can you not take that at the table, please? Oh, crap. I'll get it. Thanks. Hello? Paul, yes. Thanks for calling me back. I know this is gonna sound strange, but I was... Yeah, he is. What are you doing? Oh, I gotta go out for a few hours. What? Are you kidding? Where are you going? Uh, it's complicated, babe. If I told you, you wouldn't even believe me. Nobody does. Okay, who are you talking to right now? You're talking to me. Can you please just tell me what's going on? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm sorry. You're right. I... I have a student who's trying to ruin me and I'm like hanging on by a thread. Okay, okay. If you're, if you're having difficulty with a student... No, I'm not having difficulty with a student, okay? I can handle that. This is different. Well, I'm trying to understand what the hell's happening. You... Why is a high school student trying to ruin you? Okay, I promise you, it'll make sense. I just have to get proof, right? And that's why I have to go. Let's just sit down and no, talk. No, I can't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Lucas, <clears throat> how was your day? Fine. Did I wake you, Father? No, no, I was uh, just resting my eyes. I'm waiting to uh, hear back from some potential new clients. Was somebody here earlier? You like teaching, David? I love teaching. Yeah, me too. Me too. I was kind of a screwed up kid. You know, I experimented with drugs in high school. I, I could have used a good teacher. I could have used a mentor. Huh? Kind of like me. I mean, I, re I, I really cared about those kids. I had Lucas in a history class, advanced European. He writes this paper on Nazi Germany about how perfection is an admirable goal. It's just that Adolf's methods were a little wrong, like really twisted stuff, you know? Thank you. So I give him a B. I don't think anything of it. A little while later, this old high school buddy calls me. He needs a place to stay, and I'm thinking, sure, Ellie, I can give him a hand, you know? Maybe I'll even help him get sober. Later that week after class, Lucas brings me the videotape. Videotape? Yeah. Shot through the window of my house, of me and my high school buddy. You know, old habits. He says, maybe I ought to reconsider his grade, or he could just show that to the administration. What did you do? What do you think I did? I gave him the A. Ugh. Did he stop? Yeah, yeah, he stopped. I guess he's honest that way, right? But I couldn't stop. I started missing class. I mean, I was falling apart. I had to resign. And it wasn't until a little while after that that I found out. He hunted down my friend. 
all right? He paid him to call me, paid him to come to my house to knock me off the wagon. I was eight years sober when I met Lucas Ward. Lucas is a kid. I don't understand how I'm getting bullied by a kid. No, no, bullies, they hurt people to make themselves feel big. Lucas hurts people to get what he wants. Lucas is not a bully. Lucas is a psychopath. Report card day already? Okay, uh, let's get started.
Mr. Butler. Becca. Here, let me help you. Oh, no, nah, I got it. That's... Are you doing okay, Mr. Butler? You seem really stressed lately. No, nah, that's nothing. I got, uh, ha, I got a lot of, on my plate. That's all. That can be hard okay. when there's no one there to really listen. Mm -hmm. You know, you can talk to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. I really do. But I'm, it, it's all good. Is your mom coming to pick you up? What's or? this one? Uh, okay. Very funny. Seriously, can I call David. you? Uh, can we be honest with each other? Becca. The tension. If I've done anything or said anything. You don't or... have to say a word, David. Just, uh, what are you doing? Know. You know what? Okay. I want you to open me like a book. But Becca, you have to go. Come on, David. Mr. Butler, okay? I'm your teacher. You're a child. I'm go. Becca, get out of here. I told you, I overheard him speaking with his wife in chess club the other day. He said he was in love with someone else. Did you wear the perfume I gave you? Yes. I've done everything you told me to do, Lucas, so why did he just reject me? Why? Oh, Becca. Where are you right now? I'm at school. But I'm going home. This is the worst night of my life. No, no, no. Stay there. We'll meet at our special spot, okay? thought he felt the same way. I'm certain he does. No. Just a dumb little girl to him. Don't say that. You have so many mature feelings and emotions, you just have to show him. Better yet, put it in a letter. All the great romances of literature start in a letter. Lucas, it's over. No, it's not over. You can't give up, Becca. I d never give up on love. Well, what am I supposed to say? Well, the goal is to get him to reply. Open up a dialogue. Keep it short and sweet. Dear Mr. Butler, our clandestine love burns me. I'm tired of spinning in this game of lies Beautiful. Please forgive me for what I've done. What I've done? Well, you scared him because you came on too strong tonight. So if you apologize for your advances, then he'll be more comfortable moving forward. Yours truly, Becca. So, put this in his mailbox, and I promise he'll reply to you. Thanks, Lucas. You're such a good friend. Hey, Jane, you want to see me? David, yes, come in, have, have a seat. Okay. This is Detective Speck. Hey, so what's going on? Classes canceled? Oh, well, 
Mr. Butler, do you know a student by the name of Rebecca Vaughn? Yeah. Yes, of course. She's in my English class. Would you classify your relationship with her as a close one? No. Not any closer than... No. Rebecca jumped to her death from the school roof last night. Oh, my God. I found this note on her person when I discovered her this morning. So you want to tell me again just how close you two weren't? Son of a bitch. Lucas, what? Jane. Excuse me? Lucas. He set this up. He did this. He must have killed her. Does someone want to fill me in here? Lucas Ward. He's a new student, a very good student, but David seems to think otherwise. No, I know otherwise. You contact Paul Garrett in Fresno. Lucas did the same thing to him. Did the same what? He's trying to frame me. He's trying to frame me for a grade. For a damn grade. This kid, he's not right in the head. Jane, I tried to tell you, he's a fucking psychopath. David, please. I never touched her. I want to believe you, David. I, I do. But what was her sweater doing in your classroom? Oh, my. Okay, Becca had a small crush on me. She came to my classroom last night, and I told her to go away. I'm sorry, uh, David, um, but until this thing clears up, we, we have to, I have to let you go. Jane. We'll be in touch. Did she ever talk to you about Mr. Butler? Lucas, it's important that you're honest with us right now. She, she talked about him constantly. She said they were in love. So. Lucas, uh, Mr. Butler seems to think that you have it out for him in some way. Do you have any idea why he would think that? I've been trying to figure that out myself. Ever since he gave me an F on my midterm report card. An F? Yeah. Even though all my assignments were A's. I was so close to Becca. Maybe he wanted her all to himself. Lucas, I don't want you to worry about your grade, okay? I will personally see to it that you get the aid that you deserve, okay? Thank you, Principal Fermont. I just, 
I wish I could have done. There's nothing anybody could have done for her, kid. I think that you need to just go home and get some rest, all right? He can't have video evidence. I didn't do anything. You lost me. What are you saying? Wait, wait, wait. I didn't do anything. Mr. Uh, oh, Butler, is it hard to keep track of all the teachers your son's blackmailed? Hughes, him the... Hey, for this. Hey, you can't go up there! Call the police. being human. just die and you did nothing to stop him even though you know exactly what he is I know he's my son it's too tired to know On the porte, port, the Andre Ranime, Fidel Joyeux, Le Miroir Tierney, et La Flamme, Mort. Adieu, Rebecca. Adieu. Très beau, Luca. Très beau. Hi, Lucas. Lucas, come in. Have a seat. <laughs> Do 
you want to tell me why you were filming this little encounter, Lucas? I suspected that something was amiss. So I thought it behooved me. That it behooved me to... It would behoove you to get a lawyer, kid. I'm reopening Rebecca Vaughn's case, and I'm investigating everything that actually happened that night. In the meantime, Mr. Butler has filed a restraining order against you. You come within 50 feet of him or his home, and you'll find yourself behind bars. Understand? <sighs> What about my classes? How, how, how am I expected to attend my classes if I can't even go near Mr. Butler? Lucas, you're expelled. Go home. Lucas. Lucas. restraining order thing? That's not true. It's not? No. Because if you ever come near me or my family again, I will fucking kill you. Can't do it anymore. Stop. I won't do it anymore. It's over. Is there anything you want me to tell your mother for you? one for you. I was just sharing it with you. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I, I was acting crazy. You were acting a little bit crazy. Right? So, it's on me. Can we, um, maybe get in some mama and papa time, too? Oh, heck yeah. Can 
I take a quick shower? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Just go. Is that bad? <laughs> okay. And he's waking up. All right. We'll get him back down. Okay, okay here. go. Yeah. Hi. Hi, little cock blocker. Give mama a second. Just want to make sure it's hot enough for you. on the phone the other day. You're one of David's students. Everybody's talking about what happened and I just wanted to make sure that he was okay. Thank you for stopping by. Rachel?
And Iago says, what's he then? It says I should play the villain. Mr. Butler, please. It's Joey's first day and you're already late. I will, I will stab him. Sit down. Right there. Lucas. Stop interrupting me. Lucas, I swear to God, if you hurt him, if you touch him. Uh -huh. Shut up. Good. 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 So class. Why do we think that Lucas took Mr. Butler's family from him? Huh? Anyone? It's an easy one. Well, oh, how about some incentive? I didn't give you an A. I didn't give you an A. Mr. Butler didn't give Lucas the grade that he so rightly deserved. So now, Mr. Butler deserves to lose. Oh, <sighs> 